Steve, I'm sorry. He flatlined again. We managed to get his heart going again, but... Oh, God. Oh. I have to check on another patient. I'll be here with him. What does it say? He's in a coma. Julian, I don't know how much more of this I can take. I know, but you have to remember something. TC is very strong. And the fact that he's still hanging on must mean something. No. Not according to these readings. Eventually, his body's just gonna give out and... He's gonna die. This time, TC's gonna die. God, I feel so good. No, listen, listen, listen. You mustn't. How can I not, Julian? God, I broke TC's poor heart lying to him all those years about you and me and the baby that we had together. Listen to me. He made a choice. He could have taken you back when you literally begged him to. No. No, he felt too betrayed. But don't forget, though, he did come around. Remember, he did find it in his heart to forgive me. And he did take me back, and then it was I who left him again. I'm responsible for all of this, Julian. I've killed one of the finest men who ever walked the earth. I know it doesn't look good now, but he is still alive. Just barely. He's never coming out of that coma. So I, I guess I have to reach the girls and I have to get them to come home. Oh, God, my poor babies. Oh, God forbid he does die. You and the girls will be all right. I will make sure of that. He's their father, Julian. There's no one that can just make that all right. Listen, I'm not going to let you put this on yourself. TC is a grown man who made choices. He didn't have to let things go the way they did. No, I, I think the last straw for him was, was Liz. Because he trusted her, too, and, and he realized that she wasn't capable of loving anyone but herself. Listen, I want you to stop this. No. Oh, he was happy. He was a happy man till he found out the truth about me. I stole the joy out of his life. No, you didn't. I stole his will to live, Julia. I am telling you, you did not. You did not put him behind the wheel of that car. You did not make him drink. If anyone's to blame for this, it's TC himself. Because he was distraught over our divorce. My darling, couples get divorced every day. Your marriage ending is not new news. No breakup is ever easy, but that is just no excuse to give up on life. Yes, but... If nothing else, TC had a responsibility to Whitney and Simone. Instead, he let his anger eat away at him until he was consumed by it. Well, I still don't think that you should blame him when I am the one that ended the marriage. Oh, you, you think you abandoned him? No, I think, I think it was TC. Let you and your girls down by... By driving drunk, by so, caring so little about his own life that his, his daughters could end up without a father. Oh my God. Oh, TC? I think he's coming out of his coma. TC? TC, can you hear me? It's Eve. Are you sure you saw him move? I'm positive. I can't believe it, though. His readings say that he should never come out of this coma. Mm. Did you see that? Uh, yes, I did. Oh, Julian, I can't tell you how incredible this is. I mean, I was so sure. I, uh, I just don't want you to get your hopes up too far, are you? No, I know. I know better. His vitals are stronger. His readings are better. Julian, please, would you get Dr. Richards, please? 